What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to have a look at an Apollo 17 photo. Now, for people like Blair fan, I hope you're paying attention to this, they want to believe that nothing is being hidden in these photos. Their argument is, well, if you're going to use a low-res photo, then you can make anything out of nothing, which in a sense is true. Low resolution, you can be bringing compression artifacts out, all kinds of things, and we could call them buildings, okay? Now, I have said in the past, I like using, like, low res, or at least looking at them first. If I can find a better photo of that particular area, I'm going to use it. But like I said, sometimes I want to use the low res photo so that I can see the imperfections, manipulation, and centering. Let's just jump right into it so I can show you what I'm talking about. All right, here's a photo right here, and the photo ID number is AS17-145-145. 22161. Now, this is the low res photo, okay? Now, just by looking at this, I can see this spot blurring in this mountainous area, and I can see that it's really, really bright right in front of the camera. But let me show you the one I used right here. And you can see this is to the moon.ser.asu.edu. So you can see this is a lot better photo. Okay. I'm looking at the back of this. Why is it look like without any real detail compared to the ground here? Hmm. Let's get into Photoshop. I'm going to show you why. All right. Here's the photo right here. Now, folks, I don't know if you can even see this, but check this out. Why? Right there. And, folks, there's another line right here. Let's have another look. Here's the original. Let's start to bring this brightness down, shall we? Again. Go a little further. Whoa, what's going on here? Let's, let's move right in, shall we? Notice right here, you can see these lines. I don't have to put a line on it to show you. But what I am going to show you is this right here. If you notice, we have this right here. Look at the pinkish, purplish kind of color that's in here. Notice where it's at. Right on the very edge of this platform. Folks, they're trying to hide the lines so it doesn't give away the edge or the idea that there's something there. Now, let's go back to the original again. Let's backtrack. Here's the original. I can see that line now. You can't unsee it. It's right there. This is the original photo now. Start bringing it down. See it? There's all that manipulation. You can see it's like this purplish pinkish. Okay? So I tried to get rid of that so we can see the platform of this flat area better and then bring up the other pieces that are in here. And you can see that doesn't look natural. There clearly are objects in this mountain. Now, is it a mountain? In my personal opinion, no. Now, if we look at the top here, these objects here are a little too close to the very top of the mountain. Now, let me show you something interesting. Let's go back to the original. Okay, untouched. Now, what is this in the sky here next to this crosshair? Now, we can see this area right here with these strange lines in the middle just below that crosshair. Well, let's see if we can't bring that down. So I started bringing this out and you can see these weird lines. Kind of faded right here, but then it goes like this. Okay, we have something right here. There, something going down like this. And you can see something else on this side. Now, of course, this could be just the way the photo was put together. That's a good possibility, right? But let's just see if we can enhance that a little bit more and bring some more of it out. Well, folks, this is what I ended up with. I tried to bring out more of these lines to see what is actually in here. Clearly, there's something above these mountainous areas. This is not a mountain at all. When you take this photo like this, I can't unsee this stuff now. I can see that line and this part here, which is really odd. It literally dips down a little bit and it comes down like this, does this, and folks, check the way this thing is shaped. And not to mention the little bits and pieces on top of this. Now, I'm going to show you how easy it is to bring out these lines. Watch this. Go to the original. 
Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the raw plating of this photo. What we're going to use today in this photo is the black plate. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring that all the way down. Okay. Bring the brightness all the way down and just bring up the contrast. Folks, look, I can see the line when I'm doing anything to this photo. Check this out. Notice these other pieces here. We'll go ahead and okay that. But notice these little areas over here. Notice the little shape starting to come out of this right here. See that? And again, you can still see the edge to that is coming down like this. And lines like that. Not to mention all the other things that are here on the lower part of it. Folks, come on. These are not mountains. They never were. Now, I've said, let's go back to the original. Right here. I said you should not be able to see lines or complete straight edges on the bottom of this mountain. It should be just dust or gravel or whatever it may be, depending on if you're on Earth or you're on the moon, you should see a nice smooth transition going up a hill. Unless, of course, there's large boulders or layered rock, right? But that's not the case, folks. I can see that. Look at that. There's double lines right there on the right. And, folks, we'll be looking at more of these particular photos. But, again, here's the original right here. Go through it. Like this here. I can see those straight lines with ease. See it? And again, keep in mind this purplish blue area is nothing but censoring put over the edge of this object to hide the edge of these things so you don't see that. They did a very piss poor job, folks. And again, look at all the other little pieces there that are right there at the base of this so-called hill. And there you go, folks. We're bringing down one step at a time. And by the way, this is the higher resolution photo. So we should not be able to see any of this, right? And as you can see, we can. And you can see it right here next to the Luna buggy right there. And whatever these things are, they're quite large. I believe these are actual more structures. Or it could be something on its side. And we're seeing all the details from it. I don't know. Everyone's guess here is as good as mine. I know a fake hill when I can see a fake hill. As always, folks, you be the judge. Tell me what you think it is. Folks, when I had a look at the low-res photo, I knew something was up. And like Mr. Blair fan said, oh, you're going to make things out of nothing that's in this photo because of the low-res. Okay, fine. I'll show you the high-res. And there you go. Clearly, they're hiding something in this photo. Anytime you see something super brighted out or whited out, call it what you will, something is being hidden in the photo. I don't care if it's a Martian photo. I don't care if it's a moon photo. Something's being hidden. First, what they do is they censor it out. Like you can see where it had that purplish blue color where they tried to hide the lines to these straight lines, right? They didn't want you to see that. It would have been so obvious. Bring down the brightness, bring up the contrast. Suddenly, these lines start to pop out. That's the whole point, right? Get them to pop. We're not doing anything special to these photos. You've seen what I did just using the black plate, the raw part of this photo, and yet, I was able to bring it out without doing any burn tools, without using anything. Something's right there. To me, folks, in my opinion, those are not mountains. Clearly, you can see that. These are structures. Something laying there. Could be something on its side. And all we're seeing is the details to it. I don't know. What the stuff is, I couldn't tell you. Your guess is as good as mine. As usual, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm always curious to see what you have to say. Don't forget to like and share. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, got more moon coming up and we've got more Mars coming up as always. Cool, cool stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.